opening this store for the first time since doing this. Really shocking to know that there's a fast bow now. I feel real dumb for doing so many kills with the slow one. Jeez, if only I knew that existed, what the fuck, bruh? Fuck! You can get huge caskets now? The alternative way to make some money? Eagle Cape? Provide some plus one max hit, fuck it, we need so many kills anyway, may as well. <laughs> the uh, Ava's effect doesn't work on ogre arrows anyway. And I guess you just need all six hats to get the log? I'm guessing? It's been a long time since I've done this, guys. Uh, all six hats and the Inferno Feather. Huh. Let me check how far we can get with what we have currently. We can get all the hats at least, and then we just need the Inferno Feather, which is only a little bit over a thousand more feathers than any additional feathers we could spend on huge caskets and bone bolts. Bone bolts are in fact a... Uh, Merchant item occasionally, so it's always nice to have some feathers in case it asks for it or something like that So yeah, that's pretty cool. I didn't know there was a faster bow. That's probably the biggest upgrade here and with the uh, You know the, 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 the superior ones that can spawn now this minigame is definitely not as bad as it used to be How fast is this bow? Oh, yeah, that is significantly faster than the uh, Than the older one. Let me just show you for comparison if a fire will go on I'd have to not one hit one. But look at the delay in between those hands. One. Uh, and two. Okay. And then we have this new bow. It goes brrrt. Almost a fucking blowpipe in comparison, bruh. Damn. Get a quick banking in between because I'm actually really curious about what this mini game box will give us. Let's go ahead and complete the collection log real quick and get that mini game box. Uh, curious to see what it will deliver. Of course it's a sun spear because the game loves me like that. Oh, it's a jungle casket, the fuck? Or trading sticks. Wow! <laughs> so useful off island. Very cool. You can't room coin the molten chompy hat? What a fucking sad day, man. Jeez. What a waste. Well, that was useless. This pink ass motherfucker spawned inside of the plant and now it's unattackable. I literally can't auto retaliate or anything. That's so shitty. Look. It's. <laughs> what a waste! What a waste! That would have been the huge casket, I already know. Alright, there we go, boys. The last chumpy has been slain as soon as it. Yes, there we go. It registered. Free 1000 feathers on top of that. And that brings us to a grand total of 8.7k plus, you know, the collection log and the bow and the cape for the future. Why not? If I ever want to do the daily again, I am gonna go ahead and keep these feathers, even though I could potentially spend it on a uh, huge casket, but I'm not in a rush for cash in the first place. And the feathers are sometimes used for other shit as well, like the Merchant or the Mage of Wisdom and things like that. Speaking of the Mage of Wisdom, I'm still way overdue for getting my Amulet of Sea Lots. Let me just check the shop real quick. Yeah, it's not in there. She's in Langs and Helm though. Just checking real quick. Yeah, I see BA with all of that. Um, another um, interesting thing would be the fact that we're now at 800... Or 800? 189 achievements, so we only need 11 more right now to get elite achievements. But getting 11 more is easier said than done. There are a few easy ones I can complete, like... Uh, Black Demons, shouldn't be no problem. Dark Beast, easy peasy, like 252 kills. Scotiza Totems will take a bit of effort to get 24 in total, but very doable of course. And that's where we start running out. <laughs> Kinda. Um, bunch of Wilderness Achievements, here we have Treasure Hunter, this might be the most doable one. I do have an Elite that still gotta complete, which I need the Occult Necklace for, but Getting 10 elites or masses is not very realistic at my current point in time, even though I do have a lot of bottles, you just fail a lot of them, you gotta drop a bunch of them, I don't have raid pads and a lot of other requirements for it at the moment. So the hard ones might be the best one to focus on, to get 8 more of those. And then, I guess 10 adept raids, that's a doable one, but for the other ones I need experts, masters, and then the grandmaster is one you can skip, and then... This one, so do a raid on uh, normal, uh, adapt, expert, and master difficulty. So still 150 raids requirements. We're quite far off from that. 
spent 25 collection log points. How many do we have right now? Oh, we have 31? Ooh. Oh, wait a minute. That's an easy achievement. I was not aware that I already got that. I have no idea how much the chumpy one actually gave. Five points, apparently. Yeah, that's more than I was thinking. I figured it would give one or something. Spent 25 points to so just collect your sword one then. And just move us for a split second so it registers the achievement. Okay, there we go. Now we can just sell it back and get our points back. How are these amulets looking? 30 for the second one. I guess I'll go ahead and buy that for the time being. We get to a total of 50 points. That's also like a $100 bond challenge. And it's repeatable, so it's every 50 collection log points. So that is pretty nice for the long term, but easier said than done nonetheless. I guess that brings us to 190, so 10 more to go. Let's see uh, how many are like doable here. Treasure Hunter 3, let's go for that one. That's one. Then these Cotizo and then these two as well. That brings us to a total of four achievements. Yeah, Revenant is Wilderness. Uh, did I miss anything else? No. Crypt Creepers are Wilderness. That's not something I want to do right now. Collection. Uh, if I get 19 more points, that might be doable, but I would have to look into that. Uh, the Runex one is like get 200 achievements. Well, that's what we're trying to do. Um, dragon slaying five, so 100 room dragons. I guess we'll have to count that one, which is a huge grind. Five lava dragon kills, 100 mithril dragons, 100 adamant dragons, and then I finally unlock room dragons and kill 100 of those to get that one. That would bring us to five. Cerberus, it would be a lot of effort to get it done, but I I'm gonna skip it for now and see if I actually like need to do it to get to 200. Um, 100 Calvite Queens, I started doing 12. It's a lot of effort, but it is doable. So let's count that one for six. Then uh, Giant Mole kills, seven. Mole Mower, aka uh, Enormous Moles, that brings us to eight. And then I would need two more. Just two. Yeah, okay, okay. I guess something is skippable. We could do, try to do one Jungle Demon kill. That will bring us to five at least. That is an achievement. 12 is a bit much right now, but just one jungle demon to kill, even if it's absolute eight. I might save this one for last until the next month resets, because we're already halfway into the month. So getting Karazi progress right now sounds a little counterproductive. Uh, pyramid plunders are optional as well. Get a thousand mummy kills. Quite a bit of work, but it is definitely doable. So yeah, we, we can get it done. It's just that a few of them are just fucking eights. <laughs> like a lot of effort is what it is but at least it's doable and that's the most important part without doing any actual wilderness steps which is pretty nice in my opinion also this amulet should give like what 1.5 percent drop rate boost yeah it ain't much but all the little bits count i do suppose all right i think i'm gonna go ahead and unlock uh, some mystery tickets for a challenge i basically decided a while ago to add void to the list as well so i got uh, obtained a full void with all helmets for the 100 dollar bond challenge elite void for the uh, mystery ticket challenge and then for a grand promo challenge obtained the cursed void set which well it's not really a set but just the pieces requires two void attachments which are 150 log points each quite expensive but that's definitely gonna take a while to get 300 log points but you know it's a bit of a sacrifice and honestly outside of the challenges i don't really have any reason to get this whatsoever Gonna cost me a shitload of runex points first and foremost. Bit of a shame because I was, you know, I was doing pretty damn good. Almost 1.5 uh, points before I bought this. So yeah, that is painful. And then second of all, for the enchantment, it will cost me 20,000 rune points on top of that. Now before I get there, I'm just pause the clip and open the uh, calculator thing. Or sorry, the random number generator because it is a 100% enchantment, and I want to be able to show you guys that I do it legitimately. I'm just gonna set it up in advance. I'll just keep commentating you know what i'm just not even gonna end the clip or pause it or anything that way uh you guys can check that there's like no cut in it or anything in between so there it is right there uh, if i click the generate button it will uh, make a random number we'll do the enchantment right here and then la 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 and there you go it rolled a number seven i feel like if i do it like that there's very little chance of me cheating like no way to like properly do it i hope that's understandable so uh yeah with that we completed two challenges obtained full void elite for a hundred dollar bond and then uh, sorry elite void for a three mystery ticket challenges and then full void for the 100 bond 
I genuinely will never use this. <laughs> it's so junk. But the challenge, in my opinion, is pretty much worth it. That is what we do it for. So let's go ahead and claim three mystery tickets. We still have like two more challenges to do in order to get the remaining ones. See, we still have a uh, fucking nine. And a hundred dollar bond isn't something we can claim currently, but we'll just add it to the currently unclaimed section. So two challenges completed, which is nice. And now let's go ahead and trade in the mystery tickets. Do, 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 do. I think that should be enough to both get my Wanderer Elixir and the mystery box. Been a while since we've uh, gotten one. So let's go ahead and buy the elixirs and then buy the exotic ammo box. Good luck! Will it be something good this time? No, it's the worst thing. Well, actually, mystery shots is the worst one. But replay scrolls is not something that makes me happy. Reset your daily money making task and re rolls your two times bo uh, bonus money making tasks like this one. It's not completely useless, but I don't plan to use it anytime soon. Unfortunate. Alright, game plan time. I just checked real quick if KBD counted towards the uh, the Black Dragon achievement, and it actually does. I added up my uh, uh, Black Dragons and Dark Beast KC, and it did not amount to the total KC on the achievement. Then I realized, hey, KBD is also added into it. So what I'm gonna do is slay KBD with Luck Tokens, big rip, I know, but that also gives a better chance of getting King Lava Dragon Scrolls so we can kill five of those to unlock Mithril Dragons to kill, uh, you know, to do those, to unlock Adamant Dragons and then Rim Dragons to get that, that achievement on top of it. <gasps> so it's kind of two birds with one stone. Kill Black Dragons for one, aka KBD, and then kill Rune Dragons for another one. It's a bit of a bit of a process, but we're gonna get it done regardless. As soon as I can get a KBD task, of course, I'll do my VIP task kills or VIP spawn kills first so for some free tokens, and then uh, we'll move to an instance. And thank God that I got that precious Bone Crusher necklace. This is the main reason I wanted to get it, so I could AFK something like KBD in the future, which is just very nice in my opinion. Good luck. Next kill. Imbue stone for Jimbo. Oh, blessing for Red. What? <laughs> Holy shit! Red Camper got an Inquisitor blessing. Mr. Calling a Terror Orb every single kill got himself the blessing. One in a thousand drop right there. Same drop rate as the uh, Night Terror Orb. I guess for that boy it's a little bit unlucky in his eyes, but that is pretty crazy to see to be honest. KC number five. Grand Crest in my name. Beautiful. There's a 13 random elixir packs and we get lucky. No. No, 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 yes, okay, that is two, no, 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 okay, wow, fucking amazing, 12.5k room coins for two infernal elixirs, great, beautiful, just magnificent, yeah, that's a little unlucky, I would say, just ever so slightly, that's not a lot of infernals. Grab some donator tickets then, fuck it. I am good on glorious gems for the time being at least. I have like fucking eight more. Rune coins uh, is something I need to work on. And we'll buy three shining sacks. Last 35, I got fuck all. Can we get some epics from this? Oh, 25. Woo! We rich, boys! Good luck next skill. For the time being, in this particular stream, I would be fine with just imbue stones and crests. But Slim Zip gets a night ter Nightmare Staff. What the fuck, bro? God damn. That's huge. 33 KC. Second unique of the stream. You love to see it, boys. You love to see it. I agree, Burgess. I don't need another drop. Except Nimbus Stone. Oh. Oh. I got Nimbus Stone. Hey, let's fucking go. Huge casket for Mr. and Slim with Nimbus Stone. Hey, we love to see it. Good luck. Drop, 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 drop. Unique, please. Thank you very much. Oh, shit. Imbue stone in my name. Okay, well, we take those. Number three. Another imbue stone. Holy fuck, we're getting spooned out of nowhere. We got like three imbue stones in four kills or something? What the fuck? I was not expecting that. Well then, another day, another finished stream. Some beautiful unique scene in that one. 
Nothing too crazy, but we did end up seeing three imbuing stones in my name, which is really, really wonderful. Bringing us to a total of four, I believe. Or yes, four. So we can start working on some fire caves again soon. And on top of that, some champion caves, so I need some absolute demon heads for that. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty fucking satisfied with that. Three imbue stones in a single stream, I'll gladly take it. Especially since we only saw one stone in the previous stream before then. But uh, yeah, we're gonna finish up the infernal time and then uh, we'll continue with other stuff.